ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு ஹாப்பி லிவிங் கீப் ஸ்மைலிங் அண்ட் ஸ்டே ஹாப்பி நவ் வித் அ கோவிட் நைன்டீன் கொரோனா லாக்டவுன் சுச்சுவேஷன் கோயிங் ஆன் வி ஓன் பி ஏபிள் டு ட்ராவல் டு அதர் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் அண்ட் வி வில் டெஃபினெட்லி வி மிஸ்ஸிங் ஆர் லவ்பிள் ஃபுட் வெரைட்டி ஸோ குக் த டிஷ் ஈஸிலி அட் ஹோம் அண்ட் டோன்ட் மிஸ் த இட்ஸ் கேலா ஸ்டைல் ஒயிட் சன்னா கொரோனா ஃபார் யூ இன் ஆர் குக்கிங் சீரீஸ் டுடே Four tablespoons of coconut oil, 2 to 3 onions sliced, 2 tomatoes chopped, half teaspoon of sajira, 6 medium sized pieces of cinnamon, 1 biryani leaf, 7 cloves, 250 grams or a cup of white chenna, 1 cup of grated coconut, half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon of salt 1 and a half tablespoon of mirchi powder 1 and a half tablespoon of dhania powder 5 cashew nuts 2 cups of water coriander leaves to garnish 8 to 10 leaves of curry leaves soak white chana overnight and boil in pressure cooker for 4 to 5 whistles next morning with an onion added along with it Also add a pinch of salt for taste. Add 4 cinnamon to a tablespoon of coconut oil in a pan or a kadai. Add 5 cloves. Add the grated cup of coconut. and mix well fry well for 10 minutes until it turns a slight brown add 5 cashew nuts and mix well add 1 and 1/2 tablespoon of mirchi powder add 1 and 1/2 tablespoon of dhania powder and mix well now switch off the flame and mix for around 3 to 4 minutes until the raw smell vanishes Now grind in a mixer to fine paste by adding water. Add 3 tablespoons of coconut oil to a pan or a kadai. Add 2 cinnamon, 2 cloves and a biryani leaf. Add 1/2 teaspoon of sajira. Once the spices pops out, add the sliced onions. Now add the curry leaves to it. Add half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and fry well. Add the chopped tomatoes and fry well until they become soft. Now add the coriander leaves and fry well so that the flavor just gets in. Add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and mix well. Add salt based on your taste now add the paste from the mixer and mix well until the raw smell vanishes now add the boiled chana and the leftover water from cooker adding the leftover water from the cooker gives extra flavor now add water based on the consistency you can also add hot water now the kurma should boil nicely like this now the dish is ready serve hot recipe is also available at the description below thank you See you soon with another delicious dish. Until then, it's your Lata Shravan signing off.